guys, this is Patrick from WP Builder Helper, and in today's lesson, I wanted to take and go over some of the changes with Live Canvas. If you're not familiar with Live Canvas, it is a page builder that uses a different type of methodology. It's pure HTML and CSS, as they say, and when you take and turn it off, your web page doesn't leave anything behind, like your page builder itself doesn't leave anything behind. So unlike Divi and a few others that leave short codes and other bits of information, this one is pure as can be. Recently, they just updated it to where you can now build headers and footers. Now, they've always had footers, but they now have headers, and I think that that's a very, very big thing to have headers. It should say headers in here too, but it hasn't been updated yet. But you can now build your own headers and footers, and that's pretty cool. There are some caveats to this, so let's dive into it. So in order to build it, if you already have Live Canvas, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into the home section of Live Canvas and enable this checkbox and this checkbox. Once you do that, you can build your own headers and footers. And from here, you can kind of launch it. This has got a sample header already in here. So in here, you can see it's a, it's a section, and this is a logo, I mean, a, an image. And then right here is some text, which you can edit, which is really cool. So you could call this company name. And then here we have a menu. And over here, we have an icon with some more editable text. And if we go through, we can edit this to, to be whatever we want. So for instance, if we wanted a, let me see if we could find, they have a phone, but I'm not really, I don't really like that phone icon. So let's try this phone. Let's do that. Yeah, maybe this one. Well, that's a little bit small, but that's okay. We go with this one. This is probably a better one. Or maybe that one. I'm so indecisive. So point being that you can go in and you can kind of customize this. As you can see, I'm adding some color into it. I'm just playing with it right now just so you can see. The cool thing about this is that this is actually built using the HTML editor. So for instance, if we wanted to change the phone number here, you could just go in here and you could type in whatever phone number you had. And I think that that's really, really interesting and really, really neat. So if you're somebody who doesn't know HTML, then you might struggle a little bit with this. But if you're someone who does know HTML, then you'll probably be all right. Knowing HTML and CSS is like the basic foundation for Live Canvas. So word of warning for anybody who wants to play with Live Canvas, you need to know some HTML and CSS. Um, I was also interested, it's also got some mobile options here, which look good. I mean, they're fairly fairly easy mobile options. They're not anything crazy. And it doesn't look like you have a lot of um, control over them. I mean, I would ultimately say that the biggest drawback of this is the fact that you don't have very much control. Well, you have control. That, that's that's the wrong that's the wrong thing. If you're somebody who doesn't know HTML and CSS, you're going to struggle to understand where this is. I'd like to see more options in the future where they make it a little bit easier for the the customer, the person who doesn't know HTML and CSS. So anyway, let's with with that gripe out of the way, let's save this and let's exit and let's go build a footer. So you can see right here, it's actually put in a footer so it already has a footer built in but let's go into the section I think it's in template partials and let's edit the footer and we'll edit with live canvas here and we're gonna just change this footer up they don't have very many footers that are included yet I'm sure that that's on the way and there's no headers yet but once again I'm sure that that's on the way but let's let's use this footer right here I really like this footer and I think that I would like to see if we can edit the properties of the background color, maybe make it white. Yeah, that's cool. So now it kind of blends in with this. So you don't see that big gray box, which kind of bothered me. And then let's save it. Let's exit. And upon exiting, we can see it's already updated. So once again, this is live canvas. It isn't anything extraordinary. A lot of builders out there have headers and footers. They're just putting it in there. And there's a lot more that they added to this update besides headers and footers. 
but I just wanted to mention it for somebody who's maybe uh, not familiar with Live Canvas or doesn't know. It, you do have to use this custom strap framework uh, under strap in order to use all of this functionality. You could build it with another builder, I mean another um, another theme if you wanted to, but it would just be that much harder. It's Right now it's easier just to use custom strap as a whole, but there's some cool things that this builder does and I'd suggest you take a look at them. All right, thanks guys, and I will see you guys next time.